Blankenship. Joining me is Thomas from New Tech. How can existing media broadcasting benefit from the innovation that New Tech brings? Well, this is actually a question that we get a lot from our existing uh, customers and our existing service base. Some new technologies actually make a lot of sense for existing install base, for existing media broadcasters. And um, I have two here on the screen. One is called Equalink. It's a pre-distortion technology. It simply is an add-on to our uh, products that are already on the field. Um, they uh, basically are uh, giving an extra level of security or an extra level of throughput for broadcasters, uh, a better service, uh, and more channels that can be added. So with, with equaling pre-distortion, we can add up to 10% more channels, more throughput, or have a 10% better reliable service in an existing uh, platform. What does new tech, new technology bring for us in the future? So for new services, for broadcasters or media partners that are intending to, to go for a new service, uh, there's a couple of uh, uh, quite um, uh, significant uh, technologies that have come up. Uh, first is uh, DVBS2X. Uh, DVBS2X for broadcasters can, have, can give up to 37% more efficiency, maybe 20% for new DTH services that are coming up and up to 50% or more for professional applications. On top of DVBS2X, a typical combination that we will see is HEVC, highly efficient video coding um, that is um, uh, truly revolutionary. It's uh, the next step up from uh, MPEG-4. Um, we see potential of 50% um, uh, improvement in compression with HEVC. So it's great to see that we can um, have new technologies for both existing install base as well as stack all the, the, um, the, the, the great new technologies for new services on top of each other and uh, dramatically improve uh, those services as we have done before with S2, HD, and MPEG-4. So for people who want to know more, want to see more, is there a website they can go to? What's that? Yes, on our website, um, there's a lot of information uh, around S2X. Uh, we have a specific white paper on the implementation of 4K. So it's called 4K, without, uh, not without DVB-S2X. And you can find it on our website at newtech.eu. So everyone, check that out. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you, Ashley.